the Bascom family is amazing that they would have, you know, the, the generosity to really um, give back to, to Bay State and to, and to the nursing staff here uh, on M7. But for me, um, I would say that they, they should get recognized every day. Uh, it's a, a truly uh, exceptional staff here. Um, the caring, the uh, medical knowledge, everything is just uh, about the best I've ever seen. Being reunited today, especially with this one, um, and others, I mean, they left such a big, they have such a big place in my heart for the care that they gave my dad. Nobody can expect this kind of gratitude. As a nurse, I don't do it for gratitude. I do it for my heart. And that's obvious, <laughs> absolutely obvious. Everything she did, I mean, his face would light up when it could light up. And uh, for that, we're so grateful. My father's been involved in, I don't know how many charity, you know, charitable works, um, being in his position here in the area. And how do you narrow it down to one? But they impacted us so much and the whole family from the ones that were here, the ones that weren't here, you know, we could call in and find out what was going on and everything. And it just meant a lot that they went above and beyond what we thought, you know, is care. Um, have no experience in hospitals, none whatsoever. And to see the care that we got was just blew me away. And so there was no question when it came time to decide in lieu of, you know, flowers, where does the money go? And uh, we wanted to give back. Dad had been involved in getting palliative care and hospice to the area way back when, I don't know how many years ago. And um, it was good that he saw the fruition of that. And, and uh, so that's where we wanted to put it. Give back to those that gave so much.